Hey, Mortgage Coach community, Dave Savage here, and today I am sitting down with Joe Wiggins. What's up, Joe? What is up, Dave? It's a pleasure to be here. Um, one of my bucket list items for sure, man. Thank you. Uh, well, thank you for making time to come in and bring leadership and value to sure. all, the, all the mortgage professionals in mortgage coach land. So, so first, if you could tell everybody a little bit about what market you're in, a little bit about your mortgage practice, and then we can sure. get into some ideas and strategies. Yeah, I'm a producing branch manager in Riverside, California. Uh, so the markets we serve, Riverside County, San Bernardino County mainly. Uh, I have a team of four people, processor, coordinator, myself, and then a junior LO. Um, so that's pretty much, uh, that. that's me in a, in a summary. I work with Amerifirst Financial currently. Awesome. And how much? How many loans are you closing on average per month, per year? Uh, it's 12, 12 per month. Uh, that's been my average for the last year and a half. And uh, I'm trying to take that up to about 15 a year. Well, I would love to help you do that. Uh, yep. and, and where are most of your referrals coming from? Uh, mainly Realtor. Um, past client database is another big one, but most of the referrals inbound are from Realtors. How, how many past customers in your database? Uh, just under 1,300. I think it's 1,268 right now. That's a that's a lot of families that you have helped with a loan and yeah and a lot of a lot of repeat business sitting out there. For yeah, you. for sure. That's that's why I have so much gray hair, Dave. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> how, how many how many past customer loans did you close last month? Uh, we did three last month. Uh, we're going to do four this month. Okay. Well, I, I would one takeaway for you is I think you could probably double that. Uh, and we, I'm going to do a call tomorrow on how to get more business for your past customers, but I'm sure there's some ways we can help you double that. There's a lot of opportunity in your database with 1300 customers. For um, sure. So, so how are you using mortgage coach today? You know, with buyers and with realtors, you know, what are the, the typical strategies and ways you're using us? Uh, the strategies I use it, uh, on every single client. Uh, so I, I use mortgage coach as a way of of meeting uh, or having the client feel like we've met, uh, and then illustrating options that are very specific to them. So it's I do one for every single customer with a video, and it's custom for them. And that's kind of what I sell. I use it as bait, really, to get their information, their goals, their documentation sometimes, um, is so that I can generate an accurate analysis for them. Uh, for realtors, it's it's hard coded in our process as as a UVP, and we really focus on with realtors what's your buyer experience like. You know, a lot of times we'll talk to a real estate agent, and they really have no idea what their lender is currently putting their buyers through, and um, so it's always refreshing to share you know our our intake process because it is unique. So, and by the way, for anybody, UVP is unique value proposition. Uh, do you, now when you're meeting with realtors, do you walk them, you know, a new realtor, do you walk them through that process? And then once a realtor is giving you referrals, are you looping in the realtor into the total cost analysis link? You know, how, how does that work? That's a great question. I, I BCC the realtor on everything that I send to the client. Uh, and I tell the, the realtor that ahead of time. And I ask them, you know, please, if you don't watch the video yourself, you're really doing yourself a disservice because you're not going to know how to structure the offer if the client chooses maybe the option where the seller needs to pay, you know, fifteen hundred dollars in costs, right? Um, okay. Or con conventional versus FHA, or maybe it's a BA, whatever. Uh, so it it serves everybody, it keeps everybody on the same page. Uh, and without fail, if if a realtor's not familiar with Mortgage Coach, it's a huge advantage to me because the one thing that those realtors always have in common is once they see the mortgage coach analysis with the video, they're all blown away. A common reaction is, I've never seen this before. This is so cool that you take uh, take advantage of technology in this way. And I mean, I'm not super high tech guy. So of course we take all the credit, right? For all the hard work that you guys do at Mortgage as Coach. As you should, as you should. All right. Right, our team, you know, made this happen, sort of, uh, sort of vibe. And take, um, take it, take it all day long. Well, and, and they like it. You know, everybody's on the same page. The client uh, feels like uh, they've been presented all their options, which they have. You know, it's really the, it's the most responsible way, I, I feel, truly uh, to interact with, with a consumer. Yeah, no, no doubt. Would you say, think about life before Mortgage Coach, think about Mortgage Coach now. Do you feel mm -hmm. like you're getting a better conversion? You know, what are the, 
What are the ro- results that you think Mortgage Coach creates for you? Uh, it's a huge time saver, first and foremost. Um, there, there's a lot more conversion because the people feel as if they've met me. Uh, they can see that I'm really working, you know, on their package. They can see normally I'm, I'm in a hotel room right now, but uh, normally I'm behind my desk at my home office or at my office. And um, it kind of makes them, I think, feel like part of the process. Before Mortgage Coach, I would literally either print the disclosures out or have them teed up on an iPad. And it was a minimum of an hour long meeting, plus, you know, the logistics of getting everyone in the same location at the same time, husband, wife and me, uh, you know, in most cases. Um, and now with Mortgage Coach uh, Edge, I think I, I shared with you, um, I literally meet with only about six customers a year face to face. So it's so it's saving you a lot of time, getting you more conversion. Do you feel like the realtors I, refer you more because you have the I, way your, I, your process is better? I do. And, and one of the things that I do, Dave, is, is I tell the realtor and the consumer, listen, keep it simple. This is the payment. This is the structure that you chose. That payment's not going to change and neither is your cash to close. And so there's plenty of times where, you know, I'm conservative on that number. Uh, there's other times where maybe escrow charges are a little higher or title charges are a little higher, and I eat that. But it's a cost of doing business. For me, if we can simplify it for the consumer in that way, it completely it, – it's just simple. Okay, that's my payment. Joe said I won't need more than this, and, and they, can, they can trust in that. Love it. So, I mean, there's a lot of features that we have, whether it's alerts, video, live yep. interaction – if, if you had to name one favorite feature of Mortgage Coach, what would that be? Favorite feature would be uh, the, the alert, probably, when it's viewed. And right. normally, yeah, normally I can tell when the realtor is viewing it because it's instant, you know, and then the clients is always, you know, a little bit later or maybe from, you know, 5 to 8 p.m. I, I can typically predict that that's the, when the customer is viewing it. Uh, so it's, it's kind of a ninja way and realtors like it, too. Because they know that I'm not the one viewing the report. So if they get the alert, they understand that the client is actually engaged in what we sent them. I, lo- I love that. So I want to I want to put you on the spot because I always like to get scripts for, you for know, sure. loan officers love. the What's the best way to say something? So yep. I'll let you pick which script you want to do. You could do one on how do you explain the total cost of the mortgage coach to an agent? Uh, okay. What do you say to the buyer so that they click on the link and they're excited when they get it? Or, you know, how how do you get them to download the app? You know, what are you saying so that, you know, they're downloading the app and doing it? So you pick which script you want to do. Uh, I'll do the downloading the app just because, I mean, that's probably the easiest one. Uh, It's actually hard coded in all of our templates. So I use uh, Jungo also, uh, which now is talking with Mortgage Coach, which is another huge time saver. We got a yep. great integration with Jinga. Yep, and we're taking advantage of that. So it's literally hard coded. I really don't have to say the script because the script is in the email typically. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it, it simply states that um, if you're on a smartphone or or a tablet device, uh, you can view the video and the analysis with download of our non-invasive viewing app called Mortgage Coach. Nice. And, and nice. again, I'm branding it as us, you know. So um, like- they don't. Right. Yeah, they don't know that I didn't create Mortgage Coach, and I'm not telling them that I didn't. So, um, but but okay. but that's what I say too. I say, hey, if you're on your smartphone, download our non-invasive viewing app. It's called Mortgage Coach. It'll prompt you to do so. It's very easy. So now, that, what about what what do you say so that you, you've had that hopes and dreams conversation with the family, mm-hmm. and now you are going to send them the report? You know, you want them to be excited about it. You want to make sure they even click on it. You want to make sure they even read your email. How yep. do you describe Mortgage Coach to a family in a way that they're excited when they get it? Our process, everything points to the analysis. It's literally based around that analysis. So for them not to click on it would be counter to everything that they've been working towards. So our system is very uh, user friendly. Once they've given us their goals, their target information, as far as their payment goals, their total cash to close goals, those sorts of things, once we've been able to pre qualify them, then I simply tell them, you know, everything before that is saying, hey, we need all this information. We need it to be accurate so that your analysis is accurate. Your analysis is going to show you all of the options that are available specifically to you. 
and, and so they, I, I don't have a problem with them opening it or viewing it. Um, some folks, I do send uh, a PDF version every once in a while. I will do that. Uh, and those are the more maybe old school folks that uh, either have, have, you know, a glitchy system or maybe they're using the, uh, you know, the second generation iPhone still or what have you. But um, for the most part, uh, we don't have trouble getting them to look at the analysis for that reason, because everything in the front of the process points to, hey, we need all this so that we can illustrate your options for you in an easy to understand format. Yeah, I think you scripted that out. Now, you call it the analysis. Like when you think mm -hmm. of the subject line, does it have the family's name and analysis? What is the what is it that you're calling it and framing it in the email? Uh, I literally it just it's part of the the total chain. So the the title on the original email is application packet slash analysis info. And so yeah, and then it's the same chain. It's all done within Jungo, uh, and then we typically, you know, we go back and forth. Um, now with the ease of uploading and the security of uploading into our system, it's just it's kind of a seamless process. So I'm gonna one more. I'm gonna I'm gonna, yep. I'm gonna give all three scripts from you. You got to pick yeah. the first one. Uh, okay. You, cool. you mentioned that it's a it's part of your unique value proposition with a realtor. So mm -hmm. if you were in the conversation, I was an agent. And yep. you were at the point where you were going to, you know, brag about your analysis. What would that sound like? Uh, I would ask him a question and I would tell him a story. Uh, and that obviously, you know, Kai, right? So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. so shout out to Kai. So, so, so give me a question and give me a story that would set up All right. a, a move my up analysis would, or whatever. Sure. My question would be, you know, uh, Dave, I'd really love to work with you. Uh, let me ask you a question. The last uh, purchase transaction buyer side you repped. Uh, what type of loan did that client get? Uh, Thirty-year fixed. Okay. Do you know if it was a conventional FHA or VA? Uh, I think it was a jumbo. A jumbo. Okay. And do you know how much they put down, or what type of structure it was? Uh, I think they put ten percent down, and that's all I remember. And, and was that the best financial move for that client? I, I don't know. Okay, that's why I'm asking because most realtors don't know. And that's why I do an analysis for every client. It's a double check against me, but it's a check for the consumer that they're getting the right product for them. So, I, I mean, that's that. what you get when you work with me. I mean, it's pretty simple, right? I mean, most realtors don't know what product, it, but the, the biggest thing is, why is their client on that specific structure? And a lot of them do know, some of them might know. But I would be willing to bet that most don't. So that's the question. If I don't know the realtor, that's the question I'm asking them. Yeah, and again, I mean, I know you want to get as many people to implement Mortgage Coach as you possibly can. Uh, right. I'm I'm glad that I, I hear frequently, you know, I, I, this is the first time I've seen this. I haven't seen anything like this. So I love the fact that it's it's still very, very unique, at least in our marketplace. Yeah, no, no doubt. And then, and then when you think of um, the strategies of Mortgage Coach, I, I hear a lot right now, the move up analysis or the rent mm -hmm. versus own is yep. a big aha for agents. You know, which, which one of those two do you talk about the most and which one do you think is most valuable to realtors? Depends on the agent that you're talking to. Uh, I'll give you a perfect example. I have one uh, really great real estate office that serves uh, what I would consider to be a higher end area you know, for Riverside County with an average sales price of around 600000 Those guys don't care about a, an RVO, a rent versus some. They just don't most of the right. time because they're speaking to people that are, you know, 90% of them are move-up buyers. So right. with, that, with that professional, I would share, you know, the move-up analysis. And what I would share with them specifically is I would, again, tell a story about somebody who thought they knew the best way to invest $200,000 towards their new purchase. And how the analysis actually saved them 60 grand, gave them the payment that they wanted still, but left them enough money to completely remodel the kitchen and, and the master bathroom when they closed, after closing, right? Love it. Um, now, for the RVO, it's perfect for a realtor or an agent who's doing a, a lot of down payment assistance, DPA programs, maybe people that don't have a ton of money saved or they're just, for whatever reason, they have uh, like a high fear factor of purchasing a home. And in our market, most people are renting for between $1,500 and $2,250 a month. And it's very easy to show somebody that, hey, you're still actually reducing your net housing expense. And so that's the agent that I would share an RVO with. 
Got it. Well, this has been an awesome conversation. I always like to keep these as close to 15 minutes as possible. Uh, sure. But you, you mentioned that you're a producing branch manager. So that means you have loan officers that you're a mentor to. Uh, right. You also work for a company that has lots of loan officers. You know, what, what do you say to them? You know, they're not using mortgage coach. I know you don't want everybody using it, but, yeah. but, but the people that you care about, what, what do you say to them to get them to, to not only sign up and be part of mortgage coach, but to, to not just use it when they get grinded, but use it for everyone? Um, why, why should they? I, I literally, I tell if they're not using it, I mean, I tell them that literally they're crazy and if for nothing else, I mean, it's really the best thing for the consumer, right? Uh, I know a lot of people are reluctant to change and that's always a hurdle. Um, but if you're going to do it for another reason, a selfish reason, you save yourself a ton of time, you t a ton of time. If you're personally meeting with every single client going through disclosures or having someone on your team go through disclosures, I'm not saying it's a waste of time because you are able to bond with the client, but man, a uh, mortgage coach will change your life in, in that respect that. alone. But love, I mean, for consumers, Dave, the, re the reason I embrace it is it's the best thing for the consumer. Yeah, no, no doubt. It's the best service. And for anyone that's watching this, I mean, maybe your first 10 mortgage coach reports are harder than what you're doing already. But once you've done those 10 north of 20 times, it saves you time and we make it super easy for you to get started. Uh, so if you're watching this and you got value from it, like us, you're watching it in our YouTube channel, give us a like, share it with your mortgage friends, uh, have a sales meeting around it. Uh, mortgage coach total cost analysis is the best educational experience for a borrower and it's the best sales tool a loan officer can ever use. So, hey, Joe, I really yep. appreciate uh, you spending 20 minutes with us and rocking it out here. Uh, help us get the word out and help us make change in the industry. For sure, Dave. Thanks. Keep doing what you're doing. We love it. I love it. Thank you very much. Thank you.